July in northern New York, and the forest usually looks like this. Beautiful. But this year, take a look. Some trees are bare. They look dead. We have a gypsy moth caterpillar invasion. The poop actually rains down on people's heads. Gypsy moths were brought here to produce silk, but they're very, very invasive. When you're in the forest, you can see some fairly innocent little moths flitting around. Most of the leaves on the trees actually look pretty good. But those innocent white specks you see here and there flitting so gracefully are gypsy moths. A closer look at the leaves shows that some trees look kind of lacy on top. It's because many of their leaves have been chewed up by the caterpillars of these gypsy moths. Take a look at that skinny little tree in the distance. The top is not normal at all. There's a lot of space there where it should be filled in with leaves. And these are the adult moths that produce those caterpillars. Before these sweet, gentle-looking moths emerged, they were in the pupa case. They looked kind of like a hardened worm. And before that, they were the caterpillars that had hatched from eggs. This is leaf litter they chewed off each of the trees. This tree's leaves re-emerged in later July. Female moths are pretty white, almost all white, and they lay these egg masses. The males are dark brown. The males only fly. Fly around till they find a female on a tree and mate. And then, of course, the female lays eggs. Since only the males fly, it's difficult to catch the females and reduce the number of eggs. But I did try, and I did seem to catch a huge number of male moths. And yet, many of them still found their female mates and produced gravid eggs. Within each egg mass can be hundreds of eggs, and they can be scraped away into soapy water, and they will die. It's hard to get them, though. Many are high in the trees. Yet, since there's thousands in every egg mass, or at least hundreds, it's worthwhile. You can just take a soda bottle, add some dish detergent, mix it up, but don't make it froth. Then scrape those egg masses right into the soaked water. This is what one or two eggs will look like just stuck together. Sometimes you can actually get a female moth who's got eggs still that she hasn't laid and that way get a lot of them all at once. And this is why you want to get them. Those egg masses are ugly, ugly, ugly. So here's probably several thousand eggs in this soda bottle of water. The caterpillars will emerge again in the spring. And then you can find them on trees and use such things as tree care tanglefoot or BK spray, which you have to spray on the leaves that the caterpillars eat. And once again, restore the forest to normal.